Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your girl Candace from Swipes and Giggles. Here to give you the 411 on online dating and a little bit more. Basically, I went to Popeyes, okay? As you can see, what is in here is not the spicy nor regular chicken that I wanted. I went to the one in Randolph and I went to the one in Brockton and they were both out. So who is mad? I I extremely am very angry because I wanted to do like a compare and contrast. But it's fine. It's cool. Okay. So this is what I got right now. I got a Chick-fil-A sandwich, spicy, aka pepper jack cheese. Uh, with no tomatoes and I have a two-piece and a biscuit with mashed potatoes on the side from Popeyes So this was gonna be a little mukbang or whatever like it's really not gonna be nothing deep um, I'm just highly irritated. This ain't even nothing from Popeyes. I made lemonade It came with a drink. I got a swizzle of strawberry soda before I left. I was just tight there was this dude in this blue tight behind suit wearing glasses behind me and he just kept coughing and sneezing and every time I moved he was smack dab right behind me and that was irritating me even more and then when I started moving to the side he started moving to the side it's like dang can I breathe can I just be in my own area can I breathe be in my own lane without you sitting here like on my body like dang you know I got my Polynesian sauce I guess this would be like a Popeye's Chick-fil-A mukbang without a reveal of a chicken sandwich. I'm so tight. I don't even want this no more. But I am hungry. I haven't had dinner, so it is what it is. Popeye's chicken with uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. So this is uh, Popeye's chicken with Polynesian sauce. Whatever you put Polynesian sauce on, it's just gonna slap. I don't eat chicken like this, I usually bite it, but I thought, why not be polite? So, my best friend Brittany wants me to talk about this. It's another topic. People on my podcast, if you haven't followed it, follow it, The Vault Podcast. Or, no, it's not even The Vault Podcast anymore. Follow at The Vault with Chase on Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes Podcasts, and any other streaming device that you listen to. I am there. The Vault with Chase. Follow me on Instagram, The Vault Podcast underscore. Anyway, people on my podcast have heard this story already. But I did not bring it to light on my YouTube channel. And I should have because it's specifically about dating and stuff, so why not? Waffle fry for you, waffle fry for me. Well, probably just saw hit. So basically, I dated a psycho. Um, now you may think, Kaz, are you okay? Like, it didn't happen to you. Does that why you haven't been posting videos? Like, it's not that. Remember my last video when I said get exclusive with me, right? Remember that video? And I haven't mentioned I was chatting or was chatting or was talking, whatever the case may be, to somebody. That was a psycho. And the reason why he's a psycho, because homie loved and hated everything about me. Loved and hated everything about me. Loved my personality my jokes who I was as a person but then hated who I was as a person and what made me so mad is that like you know how you talk to your friends your friends are like don't force yourself first of all I am oily because it is so hot in this room you know how your friends say don't force it let it flow well I was pushing on a kayak down the fucking Mississippi River this was the first time in a very long time that someone cared about getting to know me for me and not just to try to get in my drawers. You guys know that I've been single 
for a very, very, very long time, baby. So when someone comes your way and actually knows how to treat and talk, what is happening? And knows how to talk to you like a decent human being, you kind of force it. So basically, the first issue, I had made like a little joke. Mind you, this is 48 hours into like speaking to each other. I had made a joke, not even a joke, like, oh, like, would you get mad if I mess with somebody else? You know? Because me or shot at this point, I want to know. I gave you guys the four steps of, like, talking, dating, exclusively dating, relationship. I want to know what you're feeling right now. Because I've had dudes get really attached to me before in less than three days. I don't know why. Because I ain't shit yet. Best smoking reasons. Anyway. I, um, I don't know. They get so attached to me. So I said a little joke. Would you get mad if I mess with somebody else? Now, mind you, I wasn't. I don't have anyone to do that with, so therefore, it wasn't happen. But just said it. This threw a tissy fit on the phone. Well, if you're gonna go mess with other dudes, I'm just gonna mess with other girls. I'm gonna go get with other girls. I'm gonna do whatever I'm gonna like. Where did this go? I just asked a simple question to see what your reaction was gonna be. We met up. He was cool. I was cool. We physically connected. As in, like, when I looked at him, I was attracted. When he... When I looked at him, I was attracted. When he looked at me, he was attracted. So, everything was good. We went out to dinner. Chilled in my car for a little bit. You know. And then, that happened a couple more times. But every time he was with me, he lectured me about my own life. Like, you need to take care of yourself. You need to do this. You need to do that. I don't have a problem with your parents. But you do need to take care of yourself. But he did it in a way that I wouldn't have taken it rudely. It was almost like, you know, you care about me type joint. You know when people say stuff like to you, kind of effed up. Like, oh, you looking mad fat, dog. But they don't know how to, like, <laughs> say it in a more gentler way to pretty much say, like, you know, your health is concerning me. You're saying you have problems with this and have problems with that. Maybe you should get this shaked out. And mind you, he's talking about he's like a big spender. Like, I told him my hip was hurting one time. And I was like, oh, I think it's my mattress. He goes, well, tell me how much it is. I'll buy you a mattress in um, box spring. Now, any other hood rat chick would have took that opportunity very quickly. And said, oh, you going to take, you going to buy me a new bed? Here it is. I want this $300,000 bed or whatever the case may be. I'm not that type of chick. I work for mine and do for mine. If I needed, which I do, but if I needed, really needed to get my own bed, guess what? I would have sucked it up, put everything, you know, on hold for another month and got myself a new bed and mattress. You know what I'm saying? And I'm never a person to get or take like something material from a person or have them buy it for me because people who are very quick to buy for you are also very quick to take from you or to let you know that if it wasn't for them you wouldn't have and I hate that I hate that like if I'm gonna buy for you I'm gonna buy for you genuinely out of my heart not because I know later on I'm gonna talk about it whatever may have you that's the messed up people but any which way then we were in the car one time talking. Now, this is, I feel like, maybe, this is going on two to three weeks. This is, like, upcoming to the week of my birthday. And we had met up again. And he's just, like, you're just so physical. Like, all you want to do is, like, touch and stuff. And I'm, like, like you. That's typically what happens when two people are, like, talking, dating, whatever the case may be. Maybe you might be, like, the 1950s in your brain when a female should just keep her hands to herself and not do anything. But I'm not that type of female. I'm a very um, intimate person. So I won't know nothing's going to work unless we kiss. 
right? And if you can kiss, and if you can kiss me how I like to be kissed, then therefore, we're gonna be okay. Like, I, I have a little bit of faith in us at this point. There's been times where dudes did not know how to kiss me, and I literally did not communicate with them like that. Like, it was like, I still wasn't like an a hole I was like, hey, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. But when it came to like, trying to see each other, meet up, blah, 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 I, mm, mm, mm. There was actually an incident my freshman year of college when this dude, I was really trying to have all year and it finally happened at the end of the second semester and we kissed and it was the most disgusting sloppiest kiss in the world and I was just so pissed off that I wanted him and he kissed like that oh and my ankle was like kind of broken it was, that's a that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time he had a problem with that and then he had a problem with something else. And he had a problem with something else. And then he had a problem with something else. And I'm just like, bro. Then there was a sleeping incident, okay? So apparently he worked like two whole jobs and he travels for the time and all that other stuff, right? Which I had no problem with. Anybody else put their sauce all in there? Chicken like this? Or is it just me? Okay, or oh, I thought he was sleeping. We were texting. I was at work. I got off at like 4.30 or something. And I thought he was sleeping. But I was just like, oh, let me just give him a call. And I was like, oh, you know what? He might probably be sleeping. It did like one or two rings. You know how you like, oh, let me call him really quick. And then you go, oh, wait, wait, wait. We were just texting and then you hang up because it's like you already knew what that person was doing. He calls me in a rage. Why the f would you do that? You know I don't sleep like that. Maybe we should just be friends because this is ridiculous. I mean going in. I have the text messages to prove it, baby. Because one thing I don't do is delete a thread. Okay? But you know what you could do? You know what you could do? You could, you just could put your phone on Do Not Disturb. So y'all, I'm comparing the Chick-fil-A sandwich tomorrow with the KFC. I mean the KFC, the Popeye. <laughs> oh, maybe I should add KFC in there. I'm doing the Popeye's chicken sandwich versus the Chick-fil-A sandwich. But I've seen like Kev on stage, do uh, a comparison with this and they about damn near lost their minds with it but I don't know dog it's something about Chick-fil-A like look at this lettuce do you see this lettuce this is fresh let they just took this out the ground in the backyard okay washed it rolled it up and sliced it like some collard greens and put it on here okay to wrap up to wrap up the cycle story, we are not speaking anymore. We stopped speaking like a week after my birthday, really. Um, he just was like very controlling. I never had a person have this many issues with me. Literally, anything and everything I'm saying, you're making it an issue. Oh, you remind me of my ex. Are you thinking about my ex? Da -da -da. How are you supposed to move forward in a relationship if I'm reminding you of your ex every 0.5 seconds? It doesn't make any sense to me. I can't deal with a crazy person. No, ma'am. No, sir. I thought that I was making this harder than what it needed to be because I'm not used to it. And it wasn't. No, he was just a psycho. Very much way. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I'm gonna finish my Chick-fil-A sandwich, all right? No swiping, peace.